Blog Talk Radio. What the fuck is up, y'all? Scotty Two Balls back on here on Carnival Spirits. I got Tori and Jay on the line. What's up, man? What up, though, man? How you doing? Oh, uh, man, I'm just on here chilling, man. Just chilling. Hell yeah, man. I, I'm going to tell you right now, the fucking blog talk doesn't do the song justice. You got to, if you have not downloaded the Fog EP from Vega Lovers, they got it. Go fucking get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, yeah. You have got to go get this EP. Tori and Jay, I've been listening to Tori and Jay for a fucking minute now. You know what I'm saying? One of the most slept-on underground artists out there, in my opinion. But you've been busy. You're, like, constantly doing shit. I see you on collaborations everywhere. Yeah. What, what do you have in the works right now? What are you doing? Did you just sign with a new label, Psycho Noise? Yep, just signed with Psycho Noise, and, you know, hopefully we'll be touring and doing things, you know, getting right. together. Uh, That's cool. Yeah, we're working on a new project with the Voodoo Crew, Pepsi, Bugsy, Drunk and Ruckus, you know, those are my boys right there. Loaded Juggalo, JRU, everybody there, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy yep. right there. And uh, you got some... I got some new stuff coming this year, you know, I got mixtapes and, you know, a few right. more EPs and stuff. I'm working on Hellbound, Hell's Hand, and then, you know, the whole Monitor EP thing I'm doing. And uh, the Demon Within mixtape, that's going to be dropping pretty soon. Damn, so you are and, just constantly go, go, going. I mean, right. you got to, and you've been the- doing this shit since you were 12 years old? Right, man, I've been doing this, like, you know, I've been writing music since I was, like, 12, you know. I never really had my stuff online until I was right. 18, 17, 18, right. you know what I'm saying? Just had, like, small views and, you know, came from having 26 subscribers to now I got, like, like over 200, 163 likes on Facebook. Yeah, I'm getting up there. Oh, you need way more than that, way more than that. I mean, people right. just don't know what they are missing, really. I mean, you have got that talent, the undiscovered talent. If there's any out there, you are it. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Thanks, I mean, man. I constantly hear it. Anybody who has heard you, you're like, why is this guy not with somebody, you know? It's great to have you on here. Um, you got your shit lined up. I mean, it's really good. Thanks, um, man. It's an honor to be on here, too. I never did an interview in my life on the radio, you know, never did in my life. So this is an honor. I really want to thank you for having me on here, man. Oh, no problem. We were brainstorming and stuff. I said, well, I want to start interviewing some rappers and other people doing music in the underground. And I was like, got to get Tori and Jay on here. <laughs> so I wanted to, you know, with whatever people we have listening to our shit, I wanted to get more people involved and broaden their spectrum of what, what's out there. You know, there's just, if they just heard that last song, I mean, that shit was on point, and they can't deny the talent there. I'm sorry, but you can't. But definitely check Tori and Jay out on Reverb Nation. He's got some tracks up there for free download. Um, and then you got the Fog EP for free download. So you probably got, like, a full album worth of free shit right there. You know? All right. 14 tracks of some political dark shit, you know? <laughs> right. ReverbNation.com slash Tori and Jay. That simple. And we got your shit linked up. We'll get it linked up on Facebook and everything. I'm pretty sure it's linked up through the link to this podcast, which will later be thrown on YouTube. So everybody who checks us out on YouTube will be hearing and seeing this shit too. So... Cause that, and and we got we we got the shit like on a ton of sites. We just try to get the word out. So are you? Uh, what kind of shows are you doing? Have you done any major shows opened up for people? Nah, I never did no shows. Almost did, but never did. You know, because I never had no uh no ride to get there or shit just got so hectic. So I never really did a show in my life. But now I got... More doors got, opening up for you? Yeah. That's cool. I got the Voodoo Crew. I got all, you know, I got JRU. They, you know, they support me and everything, you know. And everybody, matter of fact, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's been 
a fan of my music who's been checking me out, you know, who's been giving me positive feedback, you know, my boy Josh, you know, he's known as Shay J, you know what I'm saying? He's a good kid, you know what I'm saying? That's like my brother right there. My homie mm-hmm. uh, Jay Tepsi from the Voodoo Crew, that's like my big brother right there. I got nothing but love, respect for him. And, you know, everybody in the Voodoo Crew, J.R.U., my boy Lo, that's like my brother right there too, you know what I'm saying? And we yeah. did, like, multiple tracks together, you know what I'm saying? So, and my oh, homeboy yeah. actually at Funeral, Happy Zen the Clown, Slate and Dead, you know, we did a lot of tracks together as well, you know. You know, he's a very good artist, and, you know, and I, I just want people to recognize him and, you know, you know, give him positive feedback, too. Everybody up there, up in White Circle Records. Right. They That's show cool. me nothing but respect and love, too, so I'm just trying to, you know, give back. Just return the favor. So what is your next project coming out? The next one will be called Hellbound Volume 1. That will be the first one, and Hell's Hand Volume 2 will be the uh, second one, like uh, basically the sequel to Hellbound. The first one will be like, okay, who we are as people living on this earth and the, the bad decisions we make and, you know, when we die, and that's when Hell's Hand grab us. You know, we go to the underworld and... It's very extreme. Hell's Hand Volume 2 will be the most extreme album that I ever put out. That's going to be dark. It's going to be the most evilest, hideous album I ever dropped. So prepare, be prepared for that because that's going to be it's going to be a dark album, very dark. Awesome. I was reading on your bio on Reverb. You have a music video out. How many videos, like actual music videos, do you have out? Maybe like 10 or maybe uh, 11. You know, my very first music video with me performing in it was uh, I Tried To, which was from my old CD called uh, That's Real Talk, which was dropped in 2010. After Real Talk, you had a Halloween. Featured yeah, a Halloween. track with, uh, with uh, Nightmare Nadia. Yeah, All that's that late. Night- you got many names, many names. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so there's uh, a future music video in the future. Is that still happening, or is that not going to happen? <laughs> well, I've been trying. You know, I've been thinking about doing the music video for the Killer Demonic Clown, and right. so you know, I've just been looking around and trying to see what I can do because I'm trying to get back into the, you know, making videos and stuff. And you uh, just opened up a little web store. Did you right. go out of web store now? Yeah, it's a uh, www. Tori and J Shop dot spreadshirt dot com. They got some good designs on there, and you know hoodies, shirts, bandanas, hats, all That's that good cool. stuff. Oh yeah. And where can people pick up? Uh, do you have physical copies of CDs, or is it all digital? Just recently released the Fog on CD, so that's uh, on audiolife dot com slash door slash Tori and J one. And uh, I got uh, the Collapse album, the Mutilation Mutilation compilation. Mm -hmm. And I just released that around the same time I released The Fog. And I got Mr. Hollow, Straight Out of Hell's Gates, the third release of Mr. Hollow. That came out around Halloween 2012. So, yeah, I got like, I released three albums in one year. So fucking busy. You going to do another Mr. Hollow album this year? You thinking about it? Hopefully, oh, yes, every year Mr. Hollow Definitely. will be dropping something, something like, okay, I'm trying to start a group, just a group with Mr. Hollow, like basically for his brothers, you know, to resurrect mm-hmm. them, and, you know, and, you know, that's going to be like the biggest one I did. I mean, Straight Outta Hell's Gates was just a sample of what's to come this year. So, yeah, right. I'm going to be a big dude this year, you know, hopefully rocking shows, and hopefully I go to the gathering and, you know, do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So have you thought yeah. about putting your name in there to play one of the stages? Yeah, hopefully I can, you know, they, they call me up. I'll, they try to get me on stage and, you know, I can just, you know, murder it, you know. That's what I'm Hell trying yeah, to do. That's, that's my dream. And also having another CD that I'm doing probably at the end of the summer, probably fall, called Lunatics Carnival. That's going to have, like, multiple tracks on there as well. You have got your hands full, man. I don't know how you're keeping up with it. See, the thing is, I may not do that. Maybe I probably might do that probably early next year. I'm, I'm not for sure on that one. But I know what the things I have planned out for this year and what I'm going to do 
this year because, you know, some things that I have had to just let go and not do because, you know, there's so much on my plate. Trying to do another right. EP called Triple X Rated Vision that's going to be for adults. Hell yeah. <laughs> for, you know, just for adults. <laughs> we got a caller on here. I think he might have a question for you. Hold on okay. a second. Oh, cool. Hey, you're on, you're on air with Tori and Jay. You got a question? What the fuck is up, motherfuckers? Beastmaster. I was listening to this interview. I just wanted to say what up to Tori and Jay. What up, though, Beastmaster? What up, man? Uh, you know, just chilling there in the East Coast. Just wanted to say, you know, good looks to Scotty for being the ill host and, you know, doing these interviews because I'm looking forward to hearing more, and it's fucking fresh that you're the first one. I remember when you won the Sugar Slam Demo Jam contest, and I actually called in and pretended I was Fat Man Jersey and voted for your ass, and I talked to Violent <laughs> and everything. I just put, I used a fake name, and I fucking voted for you, and then you won that shit. It was awesome. Thanks, man. Oh, I that's really appreciate man. that, man. We still got that. I still got that track that we did, man, and I'm planning on releasing that, man. I just had it, all my stuff just got swiped out of my computer, though. You know, everything got swiped out. And, you know, things I lost a lot of stuff. I know how that is, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be releasing that, I swear, I promise. I'm going to be releasing that as soon as I get some new clips, a new video software, and it's on, you know. You're making a video for that song, right? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to that. But the verse that I gave Tori and Jay for this song we're talking about is like one of the evilest verses I ever spit, you know, took it right out of the writing sessions for my debut album. I love the verse, man. I just, I was like, wow, man, he really, he really murdered this, you know? And uh, I said, man, wait till I get this really, the people going to be tripping off this, you know? It's going to be crazy when I release it. I mean, it was just, just so dark and wicked, you know? Took things from the Amityville horror and, you know, shit, Put it all together, you know. It's just like one of the dopest tracks, and I made a remix out of it too. I don't know if I ever sent it to you, but I will. Oh, no. I promise. That's fucking fresh. <laughs> all right, guys, the show has ended. Thank you so much, Tori and Jay, for giving us a call in, letting us do an interview with you. This will not be the last time we talk to you, for sure. Oh, most definitely. It was uh, definitely good to hear from you. Um, thanks, thanks for yeah. interviewing me. Thanks, Beastmaster, yeah. man. No doubt, man. Definitely good hearing from you. And we'll get the shit posted up and spread it around. Got to get get you out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you take yeah. it easy and don't don't stress yourself out. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> All right, man. Much love. All right, much fun love, y'all. Peace out. Later. See you.